Neharika and in today's lesson we are going to look at some slang terms that are used related to food and drinks. Now most of these slang terms that we are going to learn today are American slang terms. So if you are watching an American movie or if you're traveling to the US then you will come across people using these slang terms very commonly. So you need not get confused. Here is an explanation and how you can use this in your English. So the first one that I have for you is grub or another term that can be used is nosh. Now grub and nosh are slang words used for food. So, when you are extremely hungry, you're starving and you need to eat some food, then why use the boring word food? Use the slang term grub or nosh. And how do you use it? Well, you can say that, oh, I am so hungry. Let's go grab some grub or let's go grab some nosh. Okay, so here you're wanting to eat some food right moving on to another one the most important one well you can't start your day without this which is cup of joy so what is cup of joy well a glass or a cup of coffee so this is a slang term used for coffee now, if you can't do without your morning cup of coffee, then yes, go ahead, use this slang word, which is cup of joy. Oh, I need a cup of joy. My head is hurting. So, which means that you need a cup of coffee for yourself. Moving on to another slang word that I have for you is grinder or sub. Hmm, did you guess it? Well, grinder or sub is used for a sandwich. Okay, so it's another word or a slang term for sandwich. Now, when you stop by, you're hungry and you stop by to buy a sandwich, then you can say, all right, let's go get a grinder or let's go get a sub. Now, specifically, when you use the slang term grinder, it's actually for a long sandwich. So probably say a 12 inch sandwich. Yes, that's quite a long sandwich, right? So if you're just casually talking about a sandwich, then you can use the word sub. Okay, this is a slang term. But if you are talking about a long or a big sandwich that's gonna fill your tummy, then you can use the slang term grinder. Hmm, interesting, right? Let's move on to another one, which is doggy bag. Now, doggy bag, is that some dog food for your puppies, for your dogs? Well, no, we're not talking about some food for your dogs or for your puppies. Well, doggy bag is the leftover food that you eat at a restaurant and then take it at home. So, you ordered too much of food, you're in a restaurant and you ordered a lot of food. And look at your table, there are so many leftovers. What are you going to do with all that food? Well, you can eat it the next day. So, if you want to carry that leftover food back to your house, then you ask for a doggy bag. So, when the waiter comes to your table and is ready to take your plates, then you're gonna say, oh, I would need a doggy bag. So he will understand that you wanna pack up or pack your uh, leftover food. Okay, so it's the leftover food or leftovers from a restaurant. All right, moving on to another one is Bag fries. Okay, bag fries. What is bag fries? Carrying french fries in a bag? Well, no. Bag fries is a term used for french fries, but that are left to the bottom of the bag. 
you know, at times when you are munching on those amazing oily French fries and then you see the bag is over. But when you really shake it hard, yay, there pops up some more fries for you, which are like settled at the bottom of a bag. So those fries which are stuck or settled at the bottom of the bag are called as bag fries. So next time you are munching on some delicious French fries and then you spot, you shake the bag and you spot some more left fries in that bag which were settled down, you're gonna give a shout, hey, I got some bag fries. Okay, so. So I'm just gonna say that they're all settled fries that are left in the bag, okay? Moving on to another one, drummy. What is drummy? Well, the one who plays the drums? No. Well, drummy is a slang term that is used for chicken drumsticks. So when you go to KFC and you order for some nice fried drumsticks, or you're just cooking some chicken drumsticks at home, well, you can say, ooh, I have some drummies at home. Okay, so use this slang term the next time you are eating or enjoying a chicken drumstick. The next one, fixings. Well, I have some fixings with this meal out here. So fixings is actually a slang word for side dishes. When you order for a big meal, you also get some side dishes that you can relish on. For example, some baked potato or uh, some mashed potatoes or some fries. So these are all side dishes with your main meal, okay? So those are called as fixings. All right, moving on to another slang word, which is frogard. Well, you have yogurt or you have like frozen ice cream. So what is frogard? Well, the healthy frozen yogurt. Yes, it is very healthy. So the next time you are craving for some good dessert, well, you can skip on the ice cream and eat some frogard. So frogard is a slang word used for frozen yogurt. So there are different flavors to these frozen yogurts and they're absolutely delicious. And guess what? It's healthy. So go for it. Fro frozen yogurt, a slang word that is used for it is frogurt. Okay? Moving on to the next one is munchies. Well, there are two ways of using this slang word. Well, I am craving for some munchies. Now, munchies is basically that you are craving for some food or for some snack. But when you say that, oh, these are some munchies for you with your drinks. So again, munchies means uh, when you are talking about like snack food or like bar food. So maybe like French fries or some chips or some little bit of peanuts. Now these are all snack foods, snack food that you can just pop in. So this can be called as munchies. It's a slang word for snack food. Okay, and then the last one that I have for you, which is quite interesting, science project. So are you working on a project? No, well, science project is interestingly a slang term used for spoiled food in the refrigerator. So, you know, we have a habit of putting our leftovers in the refrigerator and then you totally forget about it. Yes. And then a few days later, when you're doing some cleaning and you spot some spoiled, dirty food, then 
You can call it a science project. Hey, guess what? Look at the science project that was lying in the fridge for so many days. So science project is spoiled food left in the refrigerator. All right, so these are the 10 slang terms that you can use the next time you are talking about food or drinks. So what are you waiting for? Start using them and give that twist to your English. And I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.